In today's episode, I'm going to talk about the Kenyan Parliament versus Tanzanian Parliament. You watch these things, then you're going to understand. Watch this video. A member of parliament will tell you to go and be creative so that you can earn a living. Is that real sense? But for them, they have come to you to look for a job. So who is helping who? Who should, who should be helping who? You understand? The police people need to understand this. That's that member of parliament has really said something important. You as a voter, you have to understand that you have employed someone. You have employed, you have employed him. Because a professor, a doctor, and is a they have no way they can they cannot think wisely and they cannot they cannot they are not innovative and creative enough to do things on their own because of with with the level of education they have you understand so they have come to them people and now these people have uh, have employed them so these people are looking out up to them so that they can come up with something and they solve unemployment issues because we can only elect one person. To them, they feel like people who voted them, they are jobless, uh, they are jobless, they are visionless, they, are, they can't be innovative enough to create some employment for themselves. Yet, the same people have created employment for him. So, I've really loved this video and that's really interesting. Watch at this. Vijana mnawaambia hawana ajira eti eti wajiajiri. Wao mwenyewe umeshindwa kujiajiri umeomba ubunge hapa. Unataka kijana wa mtaani ajiajiri. Wabunge wote hao tumeshindwa kujiajiri. Tukaenda kuomba ajira kwa wananchi. Wengine ma professor si na nini. Kijana aliyemaliza mwaka wa kwanza mnawaambia nenda ujiajiri kule. Vijana hawezi kutengeneza ajira. Yeah, he's saying the truth. So you cannot employ yourself. Where is Jajiri? Wakujo kumba uji. Wakujo kumba kazi kwa wana inchi. Then you tell people. So this is. I don't know why people have given politicians so much power that they feel like they are the special people and they are the people who only matters in this situation. Like, I really think what Kenyan did. They, at some point, they humbled these politicians. A politician is your employee. You've employed them. Yeah, I even watched another video here. It was about this guy was addressing the president and he was saying, we, they're forgetting that we employed them. We employed them. We hired them to take care and to, uh, to lead a country. Yet, things that they are doing, they are just doing things that really make us feel belittled, useless, and worthless. You understand? So, like, you, they see us takataka, -taka, garbage, people who doesn't matter a lot. You understand? So, that's also something that I really, that really caught my eye from the Tanzanian parliament. And that's why I want to tell you, look at this Kenyan parliament. And if you come to Kenyan Parliament, you're going to see this. Uh, who hasn't had sex? Even I have had sex. Otherwise, why is my name Mrs. Mabona? But you cannot use, even today I've had. What is the big deal if I've had? And if you think there's a problem, if you think there's a problem, report to the nearest police or report me to God. But now you are being told <laughs> that we are very, uh, we, we, we like the public, we listened to you and we have changed. Nothing has changed. <laughs> And the last thing is, the last thing is, when we will come to the appropriation, the only two things which will happen, either they will amend the appropriation act to be able to absorb this, or they will borrow more. 
And so Kenyans will be in a, even in a deeper shit. Oh, no, that is not parliamentary. I, I'm sorry. Parliament will be in a deeper hole. That hole, that big hole, that you... So, you understand what I, what people, what these MPs, they discuss about, they discuss. They, they, have, they don't even have people's interests at their hands, you understand? Things they discuss are just things that, like, they are actively, part, uh, they actively contribute on things that are not even uh, important to the people. And I only love, I, I, I love Tanzanian parliament. To some point, people talk sense. But Kenyan parliament, when it is crazy, it always feels like that. Watch this video. Kumbavu wewe well, takataka kasia Ndiyo bwana likuwa na kakatu wa makende Matako wewe Mzee, wani mzee, kwa ni fai kanjo Kanjo siya mama yangu, wani grandmother Wani grandmother wewe Chaka, makende wewe uh, That's what That's the things we have in the parliament You understand And you expect a country to come up with a bill uh, to, to come up with policies That will improve education sector Things that will improve the importation and exportation of goods, things that will the, the policies that will improve that will see our agricultural sector improve, the things that we see that will have a better healthcare, better health facilities. We have such kind of people in the parliament. Do you expect that you're gonna pray to God and you say that oh, in this country we have been cast? Who cast you? It's you who voted. Mr. Speaker, going by the... Just keep quiet, when I know you know only it was English. So just keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so, in this, I, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know even if in Tanzanian parliament these people, they attacked each other. But in the case of Kenyan parliament, is a no joke set place. Whether you are the speaker, whether you are who, they will come for you. But the main point, the main reason why I said this, it was that most politicians, most most politicians, they think that they are not that creative enough to come and handle or make uh, make good change in their constituency, in their places where they were elected. Because some places, they can, they, that, these places has no water, hmm? bad transport system, no health facility around. Even if there's one, then it's not equipped. It's empty. You understand? So it makes things look crazy and funny for me because uh, I don't feel like these people, they really need to be in this place and really do something that it's um that matters a lot you understand so life has been really interesting and crazy but time has come that people should understand that a member of parliament is not someone that should be superior and should be begging for should be begging for our votes and also begging us begging to work with us because he's the person who we elected to work for us not we are going to beg him muheshimiwa mutukufu bro muheshimiwa muheshimiwa imeisha that has gone and that has come to an end because we can't just be saying these things all over and everywhere every day and we don't respect we don't have they don't give us they don't even respect us so this is really terrible. Thank you for watching. What's your view? Do we need to employ unqualified people into the office or vote for them so that we go and cry later? But the problem is they give you money so that you vote for them. So if you stop, the, if you stop taking the bribe and tell them we don't want your money, what we want is how sure are you that you are going to be accountable and you are going to work for us.
Thank you for watching. It's always love.